Insta360 has to be one of the quickest innovating companies out there because it was just three weeks ago that I wrapped up my review of the Insta360 RS one inch 360 edition and I made fun of how many digits are in that name. This new camera which is releasing today is different. It is simply called the Insta360 X3 and this may be their best one yet. Insta360 sent me half of their catalog it seems with this release. I got so many boxes of accessories. The thing that stood out though was this brand new extended edition selfie stick which is a whopping 9.8 feet long made out of carbon fiber and co-branded with Siri better known for their anamorphic lenses. It even has a warning sticker stating and I quote do not screw on the camera violently. So I didn't. The stick is built well, really lightweight and compact and completely invisible when you are shooting 360 video. It's genius. Beyond that, there are a number of accessories for attaching wireless microphones and making them invisible. There's also a new bullet time accessory and a quick reader that plugs directly into your iPhone. All good stuff. Now the camera itself is a piece of work as well. If you remember the original One X, it was this pebble design with a unicolor circle screen and two buttons buttons on it. The One X2 added a larger circle color screen with a button on the front and one on the side. And this new X3 now features a large square 2.29 inch color touch screen with tempered glass. Two buttons on the side and two buttons on the front. The whole thing feels solid and durable and it is waterproof to 33 feet without any cage. Inside there are some upgrades as well. The sensor is now one half of an inch. Resolution is still 5.7K 360 video with active HDR. 360 photos are up to a whopping 72 megapixels. There's a new 4K single lens mode, me mode, 8K time lapse, and the excellent flow state stabilization and 360 horizon lock we have become used to. All of this combined with a powerful AI editing suite make this an ultimate creativity tool. The menu system has been updated in general. It's a little easier to find your way around settings and the larger screen offers more real estate for selecting and modifying settings. It's a big improvement in usability and makes it an easier camera to use for those completely new to Insta360. The dedicated buttons are great as well. The power button now has a quick menu button right next to it so you can save a current shooting mode and parameters as a preset. The record button on the front has a quick switch button next to it that toggles between 360 mode, 4K front camera, and 4K rear camera. When it comes to 360 video, it is all familiar. The stabilization works just as well as on all other Insta360 models. The video footage looks good, stitching looks a little bit improved as well and the invisible selfie stick remains invisible. The most impressive bit is what you can do with this 10 foot long selfie stick. The shots you can pull off are drone like. Although Janessa did think it was embarrassing for me to walk around with a 10 foot selfie stick in public. I disagreed. I thought it was a great conversation starter. Unfortunately the conversations had to end pretty quickly because of non-disclosure agreements, but the shots that I got with this 10 foot selfie stick are pretty impressive. Uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot with. I would highly recommend it. Even if you have an older camera, get this thing because it's so cool. Very well built, feels very sturdy. It is also quite an arm workout because at 10 feet, that light camera tends to get a little bit heavy with all the leverage. Look at this thing. Yeah. It's really cool. One of the other great aspects of video coming out of the X3 is that you can export it however you'd like. If you are shooting Instagram Reels or TikToks, you can export vertically. If you want to shoot a cinema style movie, there is 2.35 to 1 export. You walk around with the camera on a stick and you can decide all of this later on when you are editing and exporting. This is what a 72 megapixel 360 photo looks like. And then there is me mode, which is a 180 degree picture picture that is two lenses together that you don't have to edit and post which is pretty cool so this is a great mode if you want to vlog this is the new 4k single lens mode and i'm also giving you a built-in microphone test so two things at the same exact time now the cool thing about this mode is that it is basically an action camera built into your 360 camera now so it uses the built-in stabilization with the camera, it gives you a 4K image, 
and it looks similar to a GoPro. Now you can get a field of view that is wider than this, but it's at 2.7K and you can also do flow state stabilization with the field of view plus. So pretty cool little feature. During the last week or so of me playing around with this new camera, I found it easy to use, intuitive, and very familiar. If you've ever owned or tried the original One X or the One X2, this will feel like home, basically. They have just taken all of those predecessor cameras and upgraded this and fine-tuned this a little bit. Even the battery capacity is larger. It's 1800 milliamp hours versus, I think it was 1630 for the X2 and 1050 for the original one. So uh, the battery is a little bit bigger, but because of the larger screen, I don't know what that translates into in terms of runtime. Time, I'm sure it takes a little bit uh, more of that power to light up the larger screen. This is the evolution of a camera that has inspired so many creative ideas. Such variety and mind-blowing moments have been captured on these tools that we call 360 cameras, and that's what the new X3 is all about. It's designed for people who want to post fun, unique content on social media, for athletes, adventurers, for adrenaline junkies, and travelers, and if you are one of those types of people looking to make some memories with impossible shots, this new X3 is the best version of the 360 camera from the lineup. Now, as far as pricing and kits, I have no information. This camera is a production model that Insta360 sent me for review, and that's all that I know. So I will post some links down below in the description so you can check out pricing and buy if you'd like. The cool thing about these little 360 cameras is that they have gained a lot of traction and popularity all throughout social media and online. So there's a significant market for them. Let's say, for example, if you own the original One X and you're thinking maybe I should upgrade to the X3, I'm seeing sold listings on eBay in excess of $200. So you can kind of look at this as the same way that I would look at a camera body and a lens setup. You buy a lens, you use it for a year or two or three, and you could probably sell the lens and recover most of what you paid for it. Same thing applies to camera bodies. And these 360 cameras, now that they have become tools for content creators, as long as you keep it in good shape, you can always sell it later on. One piece of advice though, if you are planning on buying one of these 360 cameras, or if you have one already, get this little cover for the lenses. I've scratched a lens on my original, I think it was the One X, and that was not fun getting it repaired because they can scratch quite easily. So it's nice that this is a part of the accessories lineup. I would highly recommend picking up one of these covers. So that is going to wrap up my video on this new X3 from Insta360. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something. I'm curious, leave some comments down below if you have an older model and if you're planning on upgrading to this new X3 or if you're brand new to 360 and you wanna pick up one of these. I'm curious because I'm reading all of your comments all the time. I may not respond to all of them, but I do read all of them, or at least 95% of the good ones. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your comments, all of your likes, and your support. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Bye-bye.